1992. I just want to say to you, maybe this is your life. I'm just I was starting today, I meant to look to see what date this photograph of yours was. It's your confirmation photograph. And I think it was taken, we just have a look at the back of it and make sure that we got it right. The 10th of the 3rd, 1946, it was taken. And I have this photograph courtesy of Annie. She gave it to me, to give it to you. slowly at the corner Marie if you can so that I can just show this to you back there okay well, it didn't do it very well I don't think Jesus I forget oh, well, we'll be turning shortly won't we we're turning somewhere here Marie aren't we I think it's well, I think it's here that's it okay and we're going around here I think that's where we go okay you're right okay we're starting again down here I'm not sure what we're doing I think we're heading. No, that's right, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have a look at this as we go. Take a few photographs. I hope maybe you understand all this. And you realise the sacrifice I'm making sticking my head out here. I might never get to Australia. I don't know how exactly you see. If you see a park in area, Marie Park. Well, I can't see Anton Marie through this year. But if there's a parking area, go into it. Yeah. Now, if you could s stop, I would shoot back. Go around here to your left. No. <laughs> Look at the wet. Well, here, I'm at the stop and getting out of the car. Uh, this is under the big railway bridge. Um, I, I, I'm not really familiar with this area at all. Well, hopefully when you see it, maybe, you will recognise it. It's, uh, there's a, a, a thing up here that says Bacardi. As you can see, the place looks in great condition. And there's the Marie coming over. And, well, we seem to have picked a good day, maybe, because there's a triathlon on. A tremendous atmosphere. This is the beach, you probably know this well. I never saw it before in my life. I'm just going to swing around and see what it looks like. <laughs> There's a bit of a, a lighthouse or something. Lighthouse. And I'm just sweeping it around here again. There's probably a lot of duplication, but sure, you won't mind that, I'm sure. Well, I'm up on the uh, the railway embankment. Things I do for you. My God. And Maria, of course, always knows somebody. That's her down there talking to. Maybe you recognise them. 
I don't know who they are, but we'll find out when she's finished talking to them. No. Yes. Yes, she is with her grandson. I'm going mad to show him off to somebody again. Look at This is his first taste of sand. Well, I'm still up here at the embankment. I don't know what's happening. Uh, we're going to try and find your house or where you lived uh, in Fancourt. Um, and then we have to meet a man at four o'clock. His name is Patsy or Jody Brady. Well, he's going to tell us where Keith's grave is. Um, again, we're just chancing around. It's David, my grandson, of course. And he is having his first dip in the sea. So we're doing all this for you, Mamie. There, there he is, look at him. Probably the nicest looking child you ever saw in your life. Now, nah, bring him right in. Uh, yeah, let's have a look and see what sort of humor he's in. This, this video, maybe, is going to take about three hours to do because I've had an awful lot planned. Uh, Karen, could I see his face, do you think? Now, uh, uh, look up. And of course, Deirdre always wants to be in on the act. There she is. Oh, well, I think we're going to look at that. I don't think you want to see that much, on there. Reason or other, I think it has to stop. It's a fishing boat, obviously. And I think he's stopping because the swimmers, or maybe he's there to rescue them if, they, if something happens. Yeah. Badly, it's a bit of a pepper looking. Yeah, right, yeah. there's the boat on its way out. We just had it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope it doesn't sink because I oh, certainly yeah. wouldn't be able to do that with it. It's rocking a lot, isn't it? Rough looking sea, isn't it? Huh? They said it. That's what the girl said. It's very choppy. Very choppy, alright. This is, uh, uh, this is for me in Australia for not to look at the grandchild. Oh, he doesn't care. Look at him. Doesn't care. Look at him. Oh, I don't know how we're going to leave this fella for six weeks, maybe. That's the trouble. Stop that, Marie. We don't want any violence. There's enough of violence in the world. Here I am again. I've used a pump, you bloody film. I want to see the child as a boat coming out in the background. I just want to, to see it coming out. I think I think it's going to come out. And I'm only using my grandson there. To see the boat appearing now. There it is. David! What is it? We started up at the Motello Tower. Um, which is a mile and a half or nearly two miles away. So I'll just watch these for a moment. That's them, all right. That's the guys. And here they come. Nice bit of swimming. Yeah, there he comes out. He's coming out. He's running, as you can see. But they're very close to each other. There's the first guy with a hand up in the air. You can hear the people clapping him. Another fellow just getting out. Doing very well. Now he's to run up the beach here, as you can see. He's starting to strip off because he's get onto a bike. So as he moves along, he's going to be just... Now he's stripping off, very good. That's excellent, excellent. Well, that's terrific. Really is very good. He's going to, he's going to run, he's doing very well, as you can see. Quite strong guy. Nice bit of the swim. And he leaves the way. Just watch them. You can hear them encouraging. Come on, Martin. 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 Come on, Martin.